right now you have two choices and unfortunately most people are locked onto the old one falling apart i go let it go <laughs> it's the problem that we need to put together a new way of life on this planet but to do that then we also have to recognize this we are creators oh bruce just said that fine no no bruce didn't just say this quantum physics is the most valid science on this planet there is no science with more truth or been tested to be truer than quantum physics so of all the sciences quantum physics is the most valid and i go what's significant and here it is you ready the primary principle of quantum physics is this world is an illusion it's all energy there's no such thing as matter but our consciousness is creating the image of the world that we live in in other words human consciousness is manifesting this expression and i say well we personally have our own consciousness for our own lives but then we have collective consciousness that's called culture <laughs> which is manifesting the bigger picture and the programs that we have been given uh are programs of self-destruction it's not programs of health and harmony at all uh and and the biggest issue outside because quantum physics says our consciousness is creating this and the problem is if you're creating extinction then you need to change consciousness <laughs> to create something that we can thrive into uh, and then all of a sudden this comes back to us i say why but each of us is a creator and that, that is the rule of quantum physics the most valid science on the planet are you creating harmony are you creating disharmony I go, well, that's the big issue. I go, why is it a big issue? Because mind is the creator. Matter of fact, first day, quantum physics, day one, Max Planck, one of the founding fathers of quantum physics, the first statement is, the mind is the matrix of all matter. And that says what? The mind is creating this matter, okay? Since 1927. Uh, let me just bring you a, a more recent uh, story which is in the journal nature and why i bring it up is nature is the most prestigious scientific journal on this planet and there was an article not long ago by a physicist by the name of richard con henry the article was entitled the mental universe i don't need you to read the article i just need you to read the last sentence in that article and i go and remember this is published in the most prestigious scientific journal on the planet and here, I'll just read it for you. The last sentence is, the universe is immaterial, meaning it's not physical, it's immaterial, it's energy. And it goes, the universe is immaterial, it's mental and spiritual, live and enjoy. Oh my God, the most prestigious scientific journal on the planet says what? That the universe is an energy field and that the experiences that we have are derived from what our mental and spiritual states it's like a scientific journal saying spiritual states like whoa we're coming into a new world folks uh, and the idea is the belief system of the old physics newtonian physics said the universe is divided into two realms the material physical realm and the invisible energy realm and they don't generally talk to each other so whatever is made out of something physical will be affected by something physical. A body is physical. You want to change it? A drug. A pharmaceutical is a physical. You put the physical in the physical and you change it. But it separated energy and, and matter. And I go, so why is it relevant? Because consciousness is energy. Spirituality is energy. And I say in our conventional world, then we separate those, say they're not relevant to a physical body. Well, 1927. Quantum physics comes in and said, you know that atom that you think is a physical thing? Well, they started to take it apart. At first they thought it was just like one whole unit. Uh, the word atom in Greek means uncuttable, meaning that's the smallest piece of the universe is this atom. It's like a little sand grain. And I say, but in 1895, they found, oh wait, there's something inside the atom. Electrons, protons, neutrons, oh, smaller particles. But when quantum physics came in, it basically says, so what are those smaller parts? What's a proton made out of? What's an electron made out of? And when they looked inside, guess what? There was nothing physical. It was energy. It was like tomatoes of force fields spinning. That's what an atom is. I go, wait a minute. The building block of an atom is energy. I go, yeah. 
<laughs> well, then atoms are made out of energy. Yeah. And molecules are made out of atoms. Yeah. And there must be atoms. Uh, molecules are energy. And I go, yeah, molecules make up humans. I go, yeah. And so are humans energy. And all of a sudden, it's very difficult for the average person to accept. Why? Oh, I can see you. I can touch you. You're a physical thing. And I go, those are both illusions. That you can see me is not based on the fact that uh, uh, I, uh, I'm physical. It's based on the fact that I'm an energy unit. I go, so what? Energy is invisible. Then how can you see me? And it sounds like a joke, but it's the truth. You can see me because the lights are on. Ah, that sounds like a joke. I go, no, you, here's how it works. Photons from a light source bounce and hit the energy of which we are made out of. And when they hit that energy field, the photons are deflected back. So you're not seeing me. You're seeing a reflection of photons that are bouncing off the energy. Because underneath that layer of photons, I'm invisible. I'm an energy force field. Are you going, really? I go, yeah, you know those scan systems like CAT scan or MRI scans and they scan through the body and they can show you all the muscles, the bones and all the pieces of the body in these scans. And I go, yeah, yeah. And I say, they don't read light, they read energy. They're looking through your body, it's energy. And they can focus on any level of that energy and guess what, you see the structure. And I say, yeah, but the structure that you see in a scan is not physical structure. It's an energy structure. That's what the scan reads. It doesn't read light, it reads energy fields. So I go, oh my God, when you look through the body with a scan system, the energy fields create the structure we are. So basically it says this, that being physical is an illusion of the light. That's right away. No light, can't see anything. Wow, that's uh, exactly what a body looks like. It's in the dark and <laughs> it's invisible, okay? And then you go to the point and you say, yeah, but if it's just energy, how come I could feel you? How come I could push on you? How come I could touch you if you're just energy? I say, what are atoms? Little vortices, little uh, nano tornadoes, little force fields. Every atom is a force field. I go, so why is it relevant? I said, if there's a tornado spinning, and I said, take your car and go 100 miles an hour through the base of that tornado, question is, if you go 100 miles an hour in a car and you focus on the base of the tornado, will you drive through that tornado? And the answer is absolutely not. The moment you hit the edge of that tornado, the force field of that tornado will lift up your car and throw it away. And so I say, oh, there's a field. You can feel it. Yeah, it's so powerful that it pushes back on you. You can lift up your car. So basically it says, oh, if I can feel something, there's a force. Does it have to be matter? I say, no, it's an energy force. A, a tornado is an energy force. <laughs> so seeing something, feeling something is an illusion. Everything is energy. Now I uh, go to the most important part and that's where the physics comes in and says, guess what? It says that your experience of this energy is derived from consciousness, which is energy. A Consciousness is an energy field. Yes, I, I can put wires on your head and read the energy of your mind. It's called electroencephalograph EEG. So I say, ah, so who we are in our consciousness is not physical, it's an energy field. And then uh, I, I'm gonna throw out one quote. I have to because it's an Einstein thing and Einstein was so cool. Uh, he said this, the field, and that's the physics term for the energy in which we live. Okay, energy, yeah, I don't care where you are, guess what? Cell phone broadcasts, television broadcasts, radio broadcasts, solar energy, all of this is passing through right now wherever you are. You can't see them, they're energy fields, but according to Einstein, this is the most important quote, ready? The field, the energy, is the sole governing agency of matter. The energy shapes what we perceive as matter. I go, so what? I say, your consciousness is an energy that is shaping your experience of matter. You change your consciousness and you change your life experience.